I want to introduce you to a highly underpriced piece of equipment. The mighty mammoth hunter, the great spear. Why do I think it's underpriced? Well basically I think that a lot of people consider the spear to be just a kind of inferior product when they think about going bow hunting or something something with uh, an 80 pound long bow you know can't be beaten well I'd like to beg to differ um, and here's a few reasons why a well made spear should be around about 8 foot long and the reason for that is because when you launch it it should flex just like an arrow so it should have a spine in it that compression that it gets as you release the spear is going to project that and uncoil um, kind of accelerating its energy the other piece of equipment that we bring into it is an arm described as an atlatl so it's a piece of wood with a hook in one end and that hook is going to go into the back end of the spear like so that now means that these two things can be carried in conjunction with each other like that so effectively I've doubled the length of my arm so when we launch the spear we're going to get twice twice the value on the uh, projection of my my uh, personal power now this is not just a stick with a hook on the end basically this has been formed with the same amount of care as I would form the limb of a bow and the reason being is because as I swing that this needs to be able to bend backwards and also spring forwards working in harmony with the spear itself so I think the best thing to uh, do with these two things is take them out and give them a field test and see if we know what we're talking about one of the things that um, I'd like to point out is at the back end of this I haven't got any fletchings on it <coughs> My belief is, is that if you've spined the shaft and you've got the spine right and you've got the 8 foot in length, you don't need any fletchings. What it should do is oscillate and kind of rotate as it goes through the sky. So let's give it a little go and see what we can actually get from it. Yeah, that flies like a dream. So after a, having a couple of shots of this, one of the things I think I noticed is the resistance when it was actually launched. And the resistance I'm talking about was the lack of compression in this spear. So for my purposes, what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it down a little bit more, see if I can get it bending some more. And then that will probably double its length, which is, you know, quite an incredible quite an you know it's impressive to know that just by getting this bending you're going to get so much more activity from it thanks for watching the mighty atlatl